Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going to be going over the second and third look from the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I already did a look with all the swatches. I will link that video down below. Several of you guys said, give me more looks. So here I am giving you more. As you can tell, I have two different eye looks on and I will show you guys how to do these looks today. I also have three of the Givenchy Sheer Velvet lipsticks and several new NARS products that I'm gonna do my complexion and dimension on my face today. So let's go ahead and get started. Wait before I forget. For those of you that don't know, head over to my Instagram at Shri Voyage. I'm giving away a Natasha Denona Retro Palette with a Givenchy Sheer Velvet Lipstick. Just go to Shri Voyage. The rules are in one of my images below and make sure that you follow me and follow the rules and hopefully you guys will win. All right, let's get started. All right, let's get started. I have a big bag of NARS products. For those of you that don't know, I started a new career journey with NARS as an artist, and I not only bought several things, but I was kindly given gratis from the company to try several things. Now, I've already used several NARS products on my channel. It's a brand I really love, and you guys could check out my other videos. Um, if you're interested, I'll link them below. But I have a full bag, so I'm gonna use some of the products today, along with this Natasha Denona second eyeshadow look. For those of you that are interested in the first look with all the swatches, I'll have that linked below. And I also got two more of the Givenchy Sheer Velvet Lipsticks. I loved the one color I got, number 37, so much that I ordered two more. All right, I'm gonna start off with the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This has vitamin C. It's meant for radiance, hydration, it's light coverage and has SPF 30. Right. Nice, creamy texture, which I love. It's definitely a tinted moisturizer that I recommend for clients. Uh, this one in the Laura Mercier. This has a really nice, light weight feel but really good coverage without looking cakey or heavy. To me, it's like a treatment moisturizer because it has the SPF 30 and the vitamin C in it. It's as simple as that. You can literally just throw this on with your fingers, kind of like blending in a moisturizer. Just tap it around the eyes and you're good to go. This is a step up from the tinted moisturizer. This is definitely more of a medium coverage, but can be sheared down. It has a radiant finish, so it's good for dullness and dryness and uneven texture. And it's also hydrating. Another thing I like about this foundation is you can turn it and it locks, so it's great for travel. And now when I put it on, definitely has more uh, medium coverage look and feel to it. Now for those of you that are wondering why I'm using my fingers, I was actually trained to use my fingers and my hands more, especially when it comes to French brands uh, that I've worked for. And the reason is it helps to soften the pigments. The heat and oil in your hands helps to kind of warm everything up and give a natural look, it gives skin that kind of transparency that you want. Um, for those of you that want a natural look, this is something I highly recommend. Now, I know some people like a full-on, what they call beat face, where it just looks like, you know, really editorial and very, like, in your face. Um, and there's room for that. And if that's your look, do it. I'm just showing you guys some options for those of you that want something a little bit more natural um, and to create a transparent finish. It is definitely not only just the French way of wearing makeup I have found, but it is the NARS aesthetic. Now I'm really working in the middle here of the face and then I blend it out. We have most of our discoloration in the center is why that I'm paying more attention to those areas. And what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a little bit of this and blending it on the outer cheek. I wanna make sure that the transition flows evenly across the face and any sort of areas that I want more coverage, I'll add a concealer to, but sometimes the foundation can be just enough if you concentrate it on the area that you want to soften or disguise. All right, hopefully you guys can see the difference between the two sides. In fact, as I turn, do you guys see how there's kind of a glossy sheen with the tinted moisturizer compared to the sheer glow? The sheer glow is just that. It has a light glow, but it's, it's more sheer 
compared to the tinted moisturizer. Because it has the moisturizer in it, you get a little bit more of a glow. Light coverage, this is medium coverage, but both can be built up a bit. This can go from medium to somewhat full coverage, and this can go from light to somewhat medium coverage. So now that we've applied the foundation, I can go back in now and touch spot the areas that I feel need a little bit more coverage. And that's where concealer comes in. And I just did a full video on concealer. I will link it down below for you guys going over every type of concealer for those of you with oily skin, for those of you that need hydration, for those of you with normal skin and how to brighten and highlight around the face and the eye area. But let's go ahead and get into the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is meant for a full coverage matte finish long wear look. It's also meant for those of you with oily skin and acne and blemish prone. Now I personally am combination dry, so this is not a concealer that I normally use. It was gifted to me by the company but I have found I love it on my face. I don't put this around my eyes, but because my foundation settles down into a soft kind of, you know, matte glowy texture, this on my face creates a second skin like look and feel. So I'm using the color in Canal. I'm grabbing just a very little bit here with my ring finger. You can see it's very rich in formula. And I like this around areas on my face that I have like dark spots here, here, around here and here. If you have deeper dark spots, definitely use the NARS uh, Creamy Radiant Concealer Color Corrector. That is so good. It comes in four colors and it has a lot of peach in it to counteract blue and purple tones. All right, let's go ahead though and touch up the areas on my face that need a little bit more attention. So I have a dark spot here. I have a dark spot here. I hope you guys can see how that just like covered that instantly. I tap it on and then work around the edges to soften that pigment. I like putting this around my nose because it's long wearing and since I get a little tiny bit oily um, around this area right here, using this concealer helps it to stay flawless all day because it does have that matte texture and that longevity. Another way that I love to use this is I take a little bit here and I use it as an eyeshadow primer or as just my eyeshadow because it gives a brightening effect because it has peach in it and it does a great job, especially those of you who tell me you have oily skin and oily lids. This is awesome. Just make sure to use a very little bit because if you have fine lines or deeper set lines, I don't want it to look heavy and cakey, so just a very little bit, tap it into the skin, and it gives the most flawless finish. I'm gonna use another concealer now on this eye to show you just some differences between two different formulations from NARS. Here we have the award-winning Radiant Creamy Concealer. This has won the Allure Beauty winner several times. One of these is sold, this formula, every 13 seconds. It's a very popular concealer, and you'll see why right away. It's a natural finish, medium coverage, and long wearing concealer. This definitely gives a second skin-like finish. It's not too oily, it's not too dry. It just does a great job of covering and not being too thick or heavy, so it just really lays on the skin beautifully. But I will say, in all honesty, and I believe in transparency on my channel, this concealer, although lovely, definitely needs a moisturizing primer or an eye cream underneath because I find it could be a bit dry. So make sure that you hydrate under the eye before you put this on. And once you have it on, just go ahead and tap. If you have combination skin or combination oily, you most likely can skip the moisturization. But for me personally, combination dry, um, heading drier all the time, I need moisturizer uh, with all concealers. I'm gonna go in now and do a couple dots up here on the brow bone and on the lower lid. Little trick for those of you that are in a hurry, take a brush that is a good small medium size. This is my Kevin Aquan contour brush. Love this for blending out concealer on the lid and just sweep it across the lid, working all the way up from the lash line to the brow bone. I like using a brush after I'm done kind of tapping it in with my finger, I go back and forth uh, because it helps to blend it in and kind of buff it as well. It gives an airbrush kind of finish. All right, so there was the concealer. All right, let's go ahead and get into the San Juan Bronzing Powder. Again, this is an award winner and it's a long wear bronzer. 
So I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Designer Pro brush. Grab a bit here. And I'm very specific about where I place my bronzer because this can really make your face look more round or more chiseled. It could create a really beautiful kind of cheekbone. It could create a gorgeous hollow. You can use your bronzers pretty much like a contour. Um, so yeah, just where you place it is very important. I wanna work from the top of the ear into that hollow right here. And I like to lightly tap this on and create a soft line. Once I feel good about the shape, then I can go in and do a little bit more work, but I don't go past this eye here. And then you're gonna flick up. That helps to lift the facial feature. So make sure that once you've set this line down and you flicked upward, that you take your brush and do soft little circles and move back around the ear. So that way there's no line. You're trying to break up that line and create just an even transition of colors. Because in reality, if you were out in the sun, it would hit this part of your face, not just here, it would actually hit your ear as well. Now when you look straight ahead, you'll be able to see that hopefully, if you did it in the way I just showed you, this should look a little more sculpted than this side. I feel like this side, hopefully you can see, is a little rounder compared to this side, which is a little bit more um, hollowed and has a nice kind of lifted effect to it. Yet another award winner, it's the NARS Orgasm Blush. What's so incredible about this blush is that it's flattering on every single skin tone. It has a true matte yet shimmer quality through it. It has pink and this gold kind of peach flex throughout so it creates the most luminous radiant finish across the cheeks it's beautiful feel free to use it not just as a blush but across your eyes and another thing i should mention which makes it a really beautiful formula is that it has super micronized powder pigments so basically what that means is that the powder pigments are really condensed and so you get this gorgeous flush that looks really natural and not chalky across the face so i'm going to take my kevin aquan blush brush I love this because it has this kind of um, soft kind of drier bristles, so it doesn't pick up too much powder. And what you want to do is, since you have the bronzer here, we're going to go ahead and start towards the front of the cheek, kind of at the middle, and lightly, lightly go on top of that cheek. I work in little areas, back and forth, and I'm going to go around just very little bit around that C shape here on the temple and above the brow bone. Take a look at that, my friends. Isn't that so pretty? Very subtle, but still noticeable, like in the right way. Let's get into my absolute new favorite mascara. I love this one, but I like the sister to this one much more, and that is this one here. This is the NARS Climax Extreme. This is so, so good. I have little lashes that I have to curl at the base to even get them to show up, and they're really fine. There's not many, so this seems to pull out all my lashes. But for those of you that already have like a decent lash or just want something a little more natural, head to what I call the little sister or the younger sister here, and it is the original NARS Climax, which is just as good, just I find not as lengthening. So this is volumizing and curling. It's lightweight and extra black. All right, let's get these eyelashes to show up. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna put the red one, the original NARS Climax on this side, and then I'll do the NARS Climax Extreme on this side. Enough said. All right, complexion done. Let's get into these eyes. And look what I've got, you guys. You know it's getting serious. I've got my everyday art cup. Let's get wet. Dipping in the brush. 
Let's go ahead and do look number two with the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I call it the Retro Non-Retro because I discussed this in the video I just did, which is it is not similar to the mini, <laughs> but I'm still enjoying it. So let's create a look with it. I'm gonna go in with Jude. And I'm just going to tap this on. Once I tap this on, I lightly feather it slightly onto the brow bone or lower brow bone. Take my finger now and break up that line. I don't want any hard lines whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna clean my brush off here. Wet it again. Next, I'm gonna grab Helio and tap that right in the inner corner of the eye here, staying kind of in that pocket. Clean my brush off again, get a little more water. I'm gonna grab Patty now. I'm gonna put that right here on the outside. And now I'm gonna grab Glitz. Where that last line was, I'm just going to move above that and work slowly up towards the brow bone. I wet my brush and dipped it in water again, and I'm going to grab this color, which is Swing. I'm going to go right on the lower lash line here. And then I'm going to grab Helio again. I'm going to go in that inner corner and slowly work towards the center of the lower lash line. It's a nice light eye. Now on this eye, I'm gonna go more darker so that you can see two different looks here. To clean my brush, dipping it into the water again. Now I'm gonna go in with Rebellion. I'm going to tap that onto the lower lid here. I right, cleaned off my brush again. Now I'm going in with Amara. As you can see, I'm just using one brush this whole time. I'm just gonna stick that in the center here. All right, I'm gonna grab a touch of Helio and a touch of Patty right to the center here. Create a little bit of light. I cleaned my brush and wet it again, and I'm going in now with Psychedelic. I'm going to go right in that center. Really small, targeted, right above the pupil. I wet my brush again. I'm going to grab a bit of the Glitz and the Psychedelic together and go right in that inner corner here. I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford 13 brush and I'm going to grab Vivian. I'm going to take that right on that brow bone here. I'm gonna go in with Rebellion and I'm gonna go right underneath the lash line on the outer edge and meet to the middle. I'm gonna grab a bit of Amara now and go right on top. I will drag that about 60%, maybe even 70% on that lash line. Be very specific when it comes to using these mats because they wanna really stick to the skin. So if you have um, an error, just quickly grab a Q-tip or use your finger to blend it out. I'm gonna grab Patty and go right on top of those two other colors, Rebellion and Amara. Two separate looks. This is a bit more dynamic for both eye looks. One's a little bit more soft glamour. While the other is obviously a bit more smoky and a bit more rare. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, let's get into these Givenchy Sheer Velvet Yummy Luscious Lipsticks. I got the 37 Givenchy and loved it so much, the formula and the color, that I got two more. Now, I hardly ever do that unless something really wows me. Most of you know that I am a makeup artist of 25 years, so when something wows me where I'm going to go back and get the same formula within the same brand when, for me, I like to try all kinds of new things all the time, tells you just how impressed I was with this lipstick formula. All right, let's get into these three. I'm gonna go ahead and try number 37 again, even though I did a video on it with the Natasha Denona first look, which I'll link down below. But I wanna show you guys at least what they all look like, you know, back to back. So here are the three Givenchy lipsticks that I have now, 37, 23, and 36. Let's discuss how gorgeous are the colors themselves, first of all. Second, as somebody who is quite picky about makeup, uh, I confess I am a makeup snob. I've earned it, you guys. I've tried so many different products in my long career that, damn it, when I know that I like something, I'm really impressed by it, I have to share it with you guys, but I am quite picky. This is the first one that I have found that feels incredibly velvety, like truly velvet across the lips and is hydrating, which it does state that it is a hydrating velvet matte or velvet sheer texture. It's definitely matte, so you can feel the matte texture, but it doesn't feel like it's just sucking all the moisture out of your lips. It just feels nice and comfortable. And another thing, the third thing I love about these is that because they hug the lips so well, this doesn't bleed up into those fine lines or deeper set lines. I already could tell for clients that this is something I would recommend to them if they're looking for a really pretty matte texture. Now, most people, when they hit a certain age, don't want anything that's too dry because they feel like it emphasizes lines and texture, but this is such a comfortable, beautiful wearing lipstick that I would highly recommend trying this if you've wanted to try something in the matte family and maybe add a little gloss to it to give you, you know, a bit of a luminous look. And here's the fun part. If you head over to my Instagram account, at Shri Voyage, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away this Natasha Denona palette with a Givenchy lipstick. Definitely go to my Instagram, go ahead and follow me, and then the rules are on one of my images below that tells you guys how to enter to win. I will be announcing the winner on September 30th. We've hit the end of the video. You guys know what to do. Questions, suggestions, comment down below. If you want to support Shoe Voyage, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to use the affiliate links down below. All right, everyone, I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you guys soon. Bye now.